In November 2005, Hudur paid a visit to Mauritius, which lasted from the 28th of November to the 10th of December. The primary purpose of the visit was to meet the Jamaat members, most of whom were meeting Hudur for the first time, and to address the annual convention of the Ahmadiyya community in Mauritius, which was held on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of December. During the visit, the president of Mauritius, Sir Anarud Jagnoth met Hudur. This meeting was held at the State House in Port Louis, during which various matters were discussed. The Vice President of Mauritius, Mr. Rauf Bundun, also met Hudur in a separate meeting held at the Vice President House in Sonyak. Throughout the visit, the national media gave prominent coverage of Hudo's activities in Mauritius. On the 11th of December 2005, Hudo embarked upon a most epochal and historic tour of India, which was spiritually uplifting for the entire Jamaat. It was a very historic tour in a lot of ways. The year 2005 is very significant in the history of the movement as it marks the completion of 100 years to the initiation of the Vasiyat scheme and according to the lunar calendar the 100 years of the institution of khilafat e ahmadiyya were also completed during this year it was therefore befitting for a convention to be held on the soil of Kadian the town where khilafat e ahmadiyya started With Hudur's arrival, Kadian was once again blessed with the presence of a Khalifa. Thousands of Ahmadis from around the world converged upon the hamlet of Kadian, and a tide of humanity greeted Hudur. It was the first time in the history of the Jamaat that live transmissions of Hudr's sermons, addresses and other activities from Kadian were shown across the globe on MTA International. The voice that was raised from Kadian over a hundred years ago was once again raised from Kadian with new splendor and magnitude and reached the ends of the earth. The faith-inspiring annual convention of Kadian was held on the 26th, 27th and 28th of December, which was attended by over 70,000 people. Special intercity trains were run by the authorities to facilitate the smooth arrival of guests. During the visit, many eminent personalities, including heads of other religious communities, ministers, parliamentarians and scholars, had audience with Hudur and attended the convention. Hudur also led the Idul Adha prayers in Kadian. It was the first time after the partition of India in 1947 that a Khalifa led the Eid service in Kadian. This history-making and spiritually exhilarating tour ended on the 17th of January 2006 when Hudur returned to London.
For four weeks in 2006, from the 4th of April to the 15th of May, Hudud visited the far eastern countries of Singapore, Australia, Fiji, New Zealand and Japan. For the first time ever from the soils of each of these countries, the Khalifa's addresses and sermons were transmitted live across the globe on MTA International. In Singapore, Khudur delivered a historic Friday sermon, which was attended by a number of Ahmadis from the neighboring countries of Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, and Brunei. इस मौके से फायदा उठाते हुए मैं अपने इंडोनेशियन बहन भाइयों से कहता हूं कि अपनी कौम के अहमदियों को तसल्ली दें कि सब्र करें और सब्र का दामन कभी हाथ से ना छोड़ें बस उससे मदद मांगें इंशाल्लाह वो कभी आपको जाया नहीं करेगा कभी जाया नहीं करेगा कभी जाया नहीं करेगा ओले करना ही तो त्रुस बरोस बरदा पड़ा ये तिरा कर पर मनिया कर कलियन तिरा कर पर मनिया कर कलियन दा तिरा कर पर मनिया कर कलियन in Australia, the focal point of Hudur's visit was his attendance and addresses to the annual convention on the 15th, 16th and 17th of April. Hudur also graced a reception given in his honour in Canberra on the 19th of April, which was attended by a large number of diplomats, members of parliament and other important personalities. In Sydney, Khudur laid the foundation stone of the Khilafat Centenary Hall. Khudur arrived in Fiji on the 25th of April. He was welcomed by various government officials at the airport, where he also addressed a press conference. Later, he went to the President House to meet the Vice President of Fiji, the Honorable Ratu Joni Madrawiwi, who was also the acting President of the country at the time. something for you to have from the, your, in your library. There's a token gift for you also. Thank you very much. Annual Convention of Fiji. The two-day annual convention of the Fijian community was also planned to coincide with Hudur's visit on the 28th and 29th of April. The gathering was addressed on both days by Hudur. While in Fiji, Hudur also paid a visit to the historic Dateline in Taverni, which is considered as a corner of the earth. A reception was also given in Hudur's honor, which was attended by a large number of politicians, including the acting president, the Honorable Ratu Joni Madraiwiwi, diplomats, eminent Fijian scholars, religious leaders, businessmen, and other distinguished persons.